My name is Bertrand Picard, and I spend my entire life pushing boundaries. Now, I'm setting out on a new journey to explore the future of mobility. I want to discover and drive the vehicles of our future and understand how close we are to leave behind our dependency on fossil fuels and strike out on new completely clean paths. 20 years ago, there happened to be two pioneering actions at the same time. I was landing the Breitling Orbiter 3 balloon after the first non-stop round-the-world balloon flight, and in Korea, Dr. Sehon Kim was leading a team of pioneers to develop the first hydrogen fuel cells at a time when no one thought it could be a viable solution. How did you have the confidence 20 years ago as a pioneer that hydrogen would become a reality today because you started when almost nobody believed in it. When I started developing a fuel cell system in 2003, the durability was only three months. So I never expected that in my career in Hyundai Motor Company, I can uh, mass produce this vehicle. But I did it. Yeah, we did it. Uh, Hyundai engineers did it. Last year or this year will be the initial a very important year of the hydrogen society and hydrogen economy. If I understand you well, Sehon, what kept you going is the will to do good, to do different, to, to make a new path and to write history. You know, we didn't want to follow uh, everything what other guys has made. So we want to do something new. And we also thought, you know, the sustainability. How can we live like this? Fuel cell technology and battery technology will provide us the you know, sustainable future. Turning a revolutionary idea into reality is really a battle. I met the CEO of Hyundai in Europe, Michael Cole, to get his perspective. Hi Bertrand, how are you? Hi Michael, great, and you? I'm fine, thank you. But you know, I'm really sorry that I can't be with you there today. I think we all know the reasons. We've got a nice surprise. I'd like you to take a look outside, if you would, please. You see a car there, Bertrand? Wow, yes. Yes, but I've never seen a car like this one. What is it? Well, that is the brand new Ionic 5, and it's the first vehicle from our dedicated battery EV lineup brand, Ionic. And you know, the special treat today is you're going to be the first person to drive it in Europe. Wow, what an honor, Michael. Thank you. So, Bertrand, I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you take it for a spin, and then we'll talk later. And please be careful with it. A lot of people in the public believe they have to choose between battery and hydrogen, but you do both. Can you explain yeah. why? We believe that both those solutions can, can live side by side. They're both effectively electric vehicles, but one powered by the, the hydrogen fuel and, and one by the standard you know, ion battery. So. It, it, it's, a, it's a combination that we think offers the customer the, the best opportunity to go for either technology. We have to contribute to environmental sustainability and social well-being. You know, we're, we're not just here to provide cars to people, we're here to make that positive contribution to the society and to the world. You have the impression it's a car from a science fiction movie, the way it looks like, the way you have the glass cockpit, you're, you're, you're like in a spacecraft. It's really beautiful. I've been a witness to a brand new beginning. I've driven and seen the future firsthand and feel ready for the transition to clean mobility to explode as the new technology of battery and hydrogen fuel cells are on the market. <laughs>